Hello students, so today we are going to learn chapter 4, Rate of Reaction. So let's look at Rate of Reaction. What, what does it mean by Rate of Reaction? Do you, do you know what is reaction? Reaction like, what is your reaction? My reaction is, I am very joyful and very happy right now. Actually, actually, actually I feel tired. <laughs> I just like, take a, not a nap, like a rest for a while then. Just wake up. But when I see this topic, I'm energetic again. Um, I think this is one of the easiest topic ever. Okay, I think this is a very easy topic. Rate of reaction. And it's all about reaction of my self to be happy or sad, but the reaction in terms of chemical, let's say I put this one and this one, boom, outside or something like that. That's a reaction. But the rate is sometimes it's fast, sometimes it is slow. And how to make it fast, how to make it slow. For example, oh let's look at this this uh let's look at the first question. The process of making toast involves a chemical reaction known as a myelin reaction. In the myelin reaction, carbohydrate reacts with protein to form amodory compounds that cause bread to become brown and turns into toast. The myelin reaction is fast. It's a fast reaction. So this is a fast reaction. You put in one minute, ding, come out very fast. How to reduce it? Uh, maybe I put the fire a little bit. So you, 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 it will work. Or I put the fire a lot, then it become faster. Um, it's fast. This is a fast reaction. Can, can you give me an example of a so, slow reaction? What's the example of slow reaction? So, slow reaction, maybe we, uh, we can say about rusting. No rusting, senseu. Rusting is very uh, slow. Let me is there any metal right here? I cannot find any metal. It's in the two box, but I don't want to take it. Like this is a metal, but it's aluminium lah, so it, it won't really rust. But if it's going to rust, it will be a very, very slow process, correct or not? So rusting is a very slow process, like but if I want to make it rust faster, maybe I put water. So the process will be faster, right? But if I don't put water, it will still rust. Why it is rusting? Because the air got sui chi. What do you mean by sui chi? The air got water. Correct or not? You don't feel the water, but there's water everywhere. As I'm touching the water in the air. It's very humid at here. So, depend if you got more water. Of course, if you put near toilet, it's faster. Lah. Correct or not? And put the metal in the toilet. Because toilet, you have sui chi. Ma. Got the water vapor of the water is more. So that's why they say, I play guitar, they say don't put your guitar near the toilet door or something like that. Because your, your, your guitar will, will um, grow the more or something like that. Okay. Okay, rate of reaction, we want to learn of the terminology that we need to learn. Reactant, product, rate of reaction, why is this, why is this, why is this, why is this, why is this. I think we know, uh, something we know. Uh, temperature, we know. Reactant product, maybe we need to learn. Okay, let's look at the first one. Okay, um, fast reaction versus slow. Some reaction is fast, some reaction is slow. Depend on the reaction. Like if you cook the egg, then the reaction is very fast. Oh, or not. You put the egg in the frying pan, hala hala, we take out. The egg finish the reaction. Slow reaction maybe you want to make the egg spoil. So you put the egg, wait until two months, three Wow, very smelly. The egg is spoiled. But it's a very slow reaction. You need to wait around like three months, three or four months. Correct now, when you buy some market, usually I buy egg. Uh, usually one egg can last one and a half month, right? So you need to wait like three months for the egg to spoil. Then after that, you take the egg and throw at your friend. Ah, you say it's a prank! And see what your friend do to you. And then you can talk. It's a prank. <laughs> see what your friend will do to you. Ah. Okay, reactant, chemical reaction, and product. Okay, after reactant, there is a product. Let's see. The product is the fried egg, la, of course. The reactant is... The, I cannot use the egg uh, because the reactant is something mixed with something. For example, 
if I use lead nitrate, what is lead nitrate? Lead nitrate is something lah, that's something chemical thing. I mix with potassium iodide, I will get lead iodide plus potassium nitrate. Mix is mixing already. Something combined and you see lead and lead and iodide combine. This one will combine with this one. Lead iodide, potassium con combine with this one, potassium nitrate. So you, you get potassium nitrate and lead iodide. This thing is called the reactant. Haven't do the reaction, we call it the reactant. After after reactor, we call it as the product. So now you know what is reactor and product. Reactor is before the reaction. Product is after the reaction. Of course, product is not the same as reactant. During reaction, reactant change into product, correct or not? Reactants change the product. As such, the quantity of the reactant decreases while the quantity of the product increases. So, how to say this? Uh? Um, you, you get what I mean or not? Miss, here get, getting less, here get more. The reactant get less, the reactant got more. So, let's say here is 5 gram. I just lose some example. Uh. Let's put some example. Mm. Let's make this line straight a bit. Come on, straight line. Okay, let's put this... Uh, Reactant. Reactants. And this one I put product. So let's say here is I put um 20 gram 20 gram of reactant. So 20 gram after I do 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 cook 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 make it make it become 15 gram. Then it become 10 gram. 5 gram, 0 gram. Finish ready. Finish ready. 0 gram. The product will be here. We'll start from 0 gram, then become uh, 5 gram, then 10 gram, then 15 gram, then 20 gram. Oh, the equation is done. You, you get what I mean or not? So at last, when I use the 20 gram of reactant, I will get 20 gram of product. I cannot make 20 gram and then I get 40 gram. If you make 20 gram, you get 40 gram, you become god or son or you can make you can make something from nothing. Right or not? Or you cannot or if you can make 40 gram, do 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 then become 10 gram. You also got uh means you can do something. Um, disappear. So, of course, there is no such thing. But sometimes you do, teacher, teacher, the, the thing really get lesser. Yes, it get lesser because sometimes it go to become the air vapor, okay? Become the gas, so it get less. But if I can take the gas from the air and put back into a box, you will still get back the same mass. Mass you cannot reduce, you cannot increase except you are god luck or uh, maybe ghost or angel can do that also okay so we can see that the quantity of the reactor is getting lesser and the quantity of the product is getting more and then it will be like a straight line correct or not means that from here it will go to here oh yeah, why my I? I need to when I make it bigger big so easy for me to draw big 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 okay so it will be something like this like this go down and then it will be like a straight line forever because finish already like correct or not and then for here it will be like this go 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 reaction very fast then it's getting very slow then after that it will go 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 until the end. Here, you cannot increase lah. You also didn't put more thing. You also cannot decrease because already the reaction already finished. Right or not? Hopefully you get what I mean. 
so you cannot increase the mass of the reaction how to know fast or slow but probably I would say at here if you got study mass they call it tangent nah. here you can see it's fast because the stiffness of the gradient if you study mass uh, slow is slow is very here lah, huh? slow correct not? slow oh uh, actually fast is here like, because this is the this is the most steep gradient the gradient is most steep so this is the fastest slow 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 no no more reaction so we can see in this picture they are trying to show us that this is uh, slow reaction this is fast because if the quantity of reactant is reduced very fast then I mean you compare A and B uh, the question will ask A and B which one is a faster reaction so you will say B because the end result of the product take a shorter time compared to this one this one you take like let's say I put here one second one second two second three second for B two second already finished and if you want to use A method, you need to wait until 3 seconds, which is quite slow. How about this one? Of course, this one is faster. This one is slower. As most steep means faster. Like study math, lah. the gradient is so high. This one is the gradient for B. So the gradient for A is more than B. So the reaction for A is faster. This will be the slower. Can I understand or not? Um, Sometimes you I scared that you confuse this one and this one. Uh. Mm, I think it's still the same. Uh. Faster means more steep. Slower means it is less steep. Fast and slow reaction. Actually, it's the same. The quantity of the reactant decrease, quantity of product increasing. See remember, reactant and product. The difference of rate of reaction. One is very fast, one is very slow. Take a shorter time to complete, take a longer time. This one, burning a butane gas is a very fast reaction. I open the fire, very fast reaction because the butane gas go up. We highlighter, wait for very long and wait. I think. Half an hour, not for me, finish already. I'm not sure, but but this one is you need to um wait for very very long for not for the iron to rust. You wait for one year, rust rust. But when rust finish, you know it rust only. But you cannot like break it, correct not. But if this the iron rust a lot, wait until hundred years. I think I can break it. I think after 50 years, I can break it, I can, then it becomes the sand. I can do that because it's a very long process. I need to wait 50 years. The fire, I just need to, one hour, no more fire already. Ah. Fast reaction for this one and slow reaction for this one, for the iron rusting. Okay. Rate of reaction. So how to calculate the rate of reaction? That is the formula. In order to calculate, we use the change of quantity of the reactant divided by the time taken. Let's see if there is an example or not. Okay, so here is an example. Again, the formula, change of quantity in terms of usually gram, like 5 gram change or whatever gram. The change of quantity divided by the time which is actually usually is second right or not? let's see yeah gram and second so let's look at this question as an example 0 0.3 magnesium react with the excess hydrochloric acid in 30 seconds calculate the rate so 0 until 30 so let's say here is 3 gram this one I think is 0 0.2 gram 0 0.1 gram, 0 gram, 
So the changes is 0 0.3 minus 0, I get 0 0.3 divided by the time, the time here until here is 30 seconds. Correct or not? The whole thing is 30 seconds. So I divide it by 30 seconds, I will get 0 0.0 g g s negative 1. This one is mathematics, I don't want to throw up. I don't want to um, like explain further. You know right, g negative 1. Because negative means, if I'm to write it, let's say if you don't understand, like 0 0.01 gram uh, divided by 30 seconds, I will get 0 0.01 gram over over sorry yeah, this is 3 over 1 s correct not over 1 s so because divided by 1 man. so divided by 1 I can say 0 0.01 gram s negative 1 understand or not hmm? so by looking at this you know it's a formula it's using the mass divided by the time Okay, let's look at um, this one. Okay, so I think I will stop until here and I will continue this lesson on the next video. Bye-bye!